and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be going through my everyday makeup routine. Lately I have fallen in love with a bunch of specific products and I've been simplifying my routine. This is what I wear day to day to work, changing things up if need be. Um, I do work at Sephora so my everyday makeup might be a little more than yours but this is pretty much the baseline of what I've been using day to day and I've been loving how it looks. So if you are interested in seeing my everyday makeup then just keep on watching. Starting off this might surprise some of you guys because I am such a primer enthusiast but lately I have not been wearing primer every day. I've just kind of eliminated it from my everyday routine and I've been saving it more for special occasions. So I have already gone ahead and cleansed and moisturized. I have been using the new pharmacy honey ceramide moisturizer. It's like a thick rich cream super nice and hydrating so with that and the other concealer tinted moisturizer etc that I've been wearing I don't feel the need to prime because my skin is perfectly plump and hydrated on its own with that cream I do have dry sensitive acne prone skin as you can tell I have a bunch of breakouts right now but the products that I have been using have been covering them and making them less obvious and also helping heal them because I'm letting my makeup or I'm letting my skin breathe by not wearing as much makeup the first product Product that I have been going in with is like my holy grail at the moment. I am head over heels for this. This is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 25. I've dabbled in tinted moisturizers in the past. I love the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I love the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, but I've never found one that I love as much as this one. This one is just incredible. I have mine in Fair. This product gives the most incredible healthy glow. You can see there just like one little bit of product applied the difference between none and having some there. It gives such a gorgeous glow. This is a really good color match for me. It definitely doesn't like cover a lot but it just evens out the skin tone and gives a nice healthy glow which is what I like in a base step at least for lighter wear and for day-to-day -day use. Just a light layer of that you can see that it doesn't like conceal any of my breakouts or pigmentation by any means but it really just evens out the skin tone and adds a beautiful glow. It makes me feel super confident. So I've been loving this. I highly, highly recommend it. I'll link all the products down below, but this has been like my hero product of the roundup. And I usually wear foundation on the day to day. And lately I've just been going for the tinted moisturizer and loving it. So highly recommend that. And the tinted moisturizer is made even more beautiful paired with this specific concealer. This I've been using for the past two weeks every single day that I wear makeup, which is pretty much every single day paired with the tinted moisturizer. It's gorgeous. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I have mine in 0N, which is their lightest shade. This concealer, incredible. Pairs so beautifully with the tinted moisturizer. So I like to first go in and just spot conceal any areas that I have breakouts. Usually day to day for work, I only conceal the spots that show when I'm wearing my mask. For the sake of the video, I'll conceal all the spots just to show you how well it conceals while still being so healthy and glowy on the skin. This concealer is that perfect in-between tone where I can still use it for spot concealing and for my under eyes, usually I do concealer either too light and then I can only use it for my under eyes or too dark and then it can only be used for spot concealer. This concealer is the perfect in between for me where I can use it for both, which is exactly what we want for the day to day. This area here is definitely my biggest problem area in terms of product caking and looking dry. Because as I said, I have very dry skin, so if a concealer can work for me in between the brows, it can work for me anywhere. So it's a big deal that I can use it there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out all of my spot blemish concealer and then we will do the under eye concealer. I do it in two steps. Not super necessary, but that's just what I do in my day to day. And for the concealer on the blemishes, I like to take it with my sponge, the front tip of the sponge that you'd usually use for the under eye 
and I like to just really pat it into that area, not like blending it out like you would foundation because I like to have that product concentrated on the breakout. Now that the spot concealer is all blended, I'm going to go in and conceal the under eyes. I'm very fortunate in that I get very minimal darkness under the eyes, so I just like to put concealer under there to brighten everything up overall. And then I just go back in with the same sponge and blend out that under eye concealer. I have such a hard time finding good under eye concealers and this totally is one. It still will crease over time. If you have creases under your eyes, it's probably going to crease over time. It's just natural, but this does so in a healthier way. It looks very light and hydrating almost under the eyes. It's really, really beautiful. Now that the concealer is all blended out, I like to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC15. This has been a constant in my everyday any day I'm doing makeup routine, honestly, since I want to say like 2017, I've been using this. I've gone through 10, 15 of these, smear it in there, and then go in and set my under eyes with that. I find that this, um, even though you're using quite a bit of product, it just smooths out the area better than a light application with a brush does for me. So that's totally personal preference, but this is what I like to do. Then going in with my face powder brush, I will do an extra light setting on the face. So this is my Sephora Pro 55, my favorite brush in my whole collection. I have three of these pack on the powder and I like to just press it into the skin very lightly across any areas that I have concealer or tinted moisturizer just to set everything. But this really does a nice job of smoothing the skin as well, I find. And this powder is a miracle with my dry skin. It doesn't make my skin look dry or cakey. Now that we're all set with powder, we are looking very flat and one dimensional. So I then like to go in and bronze with my Dior Backstage Contour Palette. And I use my big powder 59 from Sephora, or I'll go in with my 55 up the skin. If I had to pick one product for day-to-day -day use between bronzer, highlight, and blush, it's going to be bronzer. Bronzer is always a must for me. It just changes the overall look of the complexion of the face. It warms everything up. It brightens everything up. I just find it very essential. And then with any leftover from the sides of the face and the forehead, I like to take it just the slightest bit over the nose. I just find that it pulls everything together and looks less harsh in the areas that you do have it. And then the last complexion and powder product that I have to go in with is blush. As I said, if I'm skipping a step, it's probably going to be this one, especially when you're wearing a mask, you're not gonna see it, but blush makes a really big difference, especially for me, one of my favorite steps to apply. This is one of my favorites. I've talked about it many, many times on my channel. This is the All My Healthy Hue Blush. I'll put it down below. It's just a pink one. They have like a berry, a nude, maybe one other shade, but this is just the classic pink. It's probably my favorite blush in my collection. It looks so gorgeous on the skin, such a beautiful color, and I just apply that with my Sephora 93. I like a heavy hand of blush, totally up to you. I also like to carry the blush on my nose like I did with the bronzer. I just find that blush makes such a big difference. It really brightens up and livens the complexion, makes you look healthy and awake. I went pretty heavy handed with that, but that is obviously a personal preference. I just love blush, as I said. Um, I'm gonna go in and apply something on my lips now, and then we will do brows and lashes, and then we're done. On the lips, I use one of two things. I either use the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Blush Hydrating Plumping Lip Balm. I have two of these, one I keep in my purse, one I keep at home. I love this. It is so gorgeous and nourishing and hydrating, but it doesn't really provide much of a tint. So if I want a tint and I'm doing photos or not, putting on a mask, then I'll go in with my Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm, and this is in 007 Raspberry. Such a gorgeous pink tint. Both are very hydrating. They're not really gonna transfer under the mask. So these are my two go-to, but because I want a little tint on my lips and we're not putting on a mask immediately, I'm going to go in with my Dior Lip Glow in Raspberry. Gorgeous little pink color, and it's super nice and hydrating. Very easy hydrating, just provides a nice little bit of color. I really like the focus for this look to be healthy skin, bright lips, and then heavy lashes. 
Um, but I have been going in with a liner day to day. The liner really switches every single day pretty much. Today I just grabbed my Maybelline Hyper Ease brush tip liner. This one is fabulous. I've also been loving the One Size Liner, the Anastasia Liquid Liner. I have a ton of liners. That's like the one thing that I really switch day to day. But today we're going to use Maybelline and I'm just going to go in and do a tiny little flick on the outer corners. And just like that, a little wing turned into a big wing. My wings really vary day to day. Here's what we are left with today. That liner, super, super easy to use. It's just my hands are shaky from having too much coffee today. And it is what it is. We're going with big wings. I love a wing liner on anyone, but I think it's really flattering on me, especially when I'm not wearing as much makeup. Just big lashes and a big wing, I think is a very pretty look, so. Those are the wings today, large and in charge, but we're going with it. Then for mascara, I have been loving this combination specifically. I have my Dior Lash Primer. It's their, yeah, the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Plumping Lash Primer. Primer. I like going in with this first. And then my favorite mascara lately has been the L'Oreal Bambi Eye. I just ordered a backup. This is absolutely fabulous. I've fallen in love with this this year. Nothing special about the brush. Looking at it, I wouldn't think that I would like it, to be honest, because I normally like a more small, rounded, curved brush. But this one's a little bit of a different shape, and I've been loving it. But I do have a technique for how I apply this. I go in with one eye at a time. I do the Dior Primer and then go in with the mascara when the primer is still a little bit wet. If I like the primer dry it gets a little clumpy and I don't love the look of it so I do one eye primer immediately then one eye mascara etc so I'm going to do that it gives my lashes the prettiest fluff and flutter to them and I'm obsessed so yeah loving this combo as well and I have been curling my lashes more just to keep a nice curl in them but today I honestly forgot but I do curl them most days and now that the lashes are all complete, the last step I do is a some type of brow gel. Lately, it's been a Glossier Boy Brow. Mine is just in blonde, and I just like to go in and fluff up the brows a little bit, brush them through, get that laminated brow, bushier brow type of look, and then that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and comb through my brows, brush them up with the Glossier Boy Brow. And there we have it. This is my everyday makeup routine, give or take a few items. If I add anything, it's just switching out the lip color, adding bottom mascara, and adding highlight. Really, everything else stays the same. I think this is the perfect look for everyday. It does what I want it to. Healthy skin, bolder lashes, and a pretty bright lip and fluffy brows. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or have questions about any of the products, as I said, everything will be linked down below. If you did enjoy today's video, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe if you aren't already. It really, really does help me out. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day. Bye.